back at home you know when you're in the ubers you talk to these uh, guys you know and you ask them about how you, they feel um i remember one guy was saying uyu jama uyu wacha kule akule tu those couple of years now he has 2027 atakiona <laughs> he better eat but when get 2027 comes in we're going to we're going to we're going <coughs> to get down to it and remember even in spaces <coughs> like meru you would still go to meru and find uh, an odm member of parliament yes uh, in uh, mm. in meru so yes yeah, so, so 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 i think there's that narrative of they've always been together but when when you look at the elections frame by frame and even the last election uh, uh i think raila got almost a third of mount kenya vote at- <laughs> <laughs> Sambaza, how engaged are Kenyans in Dallas, uh, especially on this impeachment drama that has arrested our attention for the last two weeks? Uh, ama Dallas, what about bado tuwe kwa sherehe? No, no, no. Hey, Dallas, ina sherehe yake, lakini yeah. bado pia they're into the politics. Okay. And uh, in my opinion, anywhere in the diaspora, I think each part of the diaspora is part of your, your home, your hometown. So anything that's happening in in um, in any part of Kenya, well, in any part of the U- in, in any part of the US uh, or no let me put it this way anything that's happening in Kenya especially this impeachment did take an effect at uh, in the diaspora even in Dallas so a lot of the people were watching and we were um, you know kind of curious because this is a process that ne- has never happened yeah and uh, shout outs to the constitution that we have that um has shown us you know that there's a possibility of something to happen you know um it's possible for things to happen whether it's right or wrong but we kind of we lie on the constitution for that moment now i'm i'm going to go with the what uno mike was saying about the the murima i think uh, what we have to realize is murima they're going to be united hata tufanye nini kazi endele walikula 10 years there was nothing we could do kibaki did his 10 and you see there's that idea of coalition and they know they're strong so whatever they try to do the skirmishes no you're, you're not going to break them apart that th- those tribal politics are going to stay there so when we talk of um, yeah we're trying to make east or west that's a stronghold you're not going to be able to break one way or the other they're going to regroup and i think with my travels back at home you know when you're in the ubers you talk to these uh, guys you know and you ask them about how you, they feel um i remember one guy was saying uyu jama uyu wacha kule akule tu those couple of years now he has 2027 <laughs> atakiona he better eat but when get 2027 comes in we're going to we're going to we're going <coughs> to get down to it but, so yeah. i think there's there's that element of um of uh, the strong the strongholds uh, being the the Murima people and they also think diaspora we're going to play we're going to play a role this time considering what we had done starting from the Gen Z and yeah. uh, what we've been doing all through yes. you know like uh, to the point that that you made Sambaza i don't know why people always talk about the mountain always being united and i say this because if you just look at the numbers from when Kenya got multi party they were not united in 1992 That's part of the reason why Moi Peter Katikati there was a group that was supporting uh, Matiba there was another group that was supporting Kibaki Kibaki mm-hmm. yeah so 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 there was a split uh when yes. it comes when it comes to 1997 and then remember people like Paul Muite uh when he was still a very strong politician he was in Ford Kenya uh and he still could win you know like the Kabete the kabete parliam- parliamentary mm-hmm. parliamentary seat when we go to the 2002 election uh where kibaki won remember there was a big chunk i think kiambu kiambu went to the huru because mm-hmm. uhuru did get a total of uh i think close to 40% of the overall vote because i think kibaki won by close to 60% mm-hmm. uh so the only the only elections where they went uh mia filmia or 100 of 100 or maybe let me say 90% ilikuwa ni 2007 
where we we actually know Raila won that election. I mean, I think most people can can agree now. Now looking back, mm -hmm. uh, 2007, uh, and then of course there was uh, the 2013 election, and now I'm talking about Mount Kenya. They went all together: the Merus, the Embus, what about uh, O2 and, and, and the Kikus? No, O2, 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 O2. I think I think the Merus and the Embus might have gone with um, the Merus and the Embus might have gone with Kibaki. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Like it was, it was, it was uh, me. How did you say? How yeah. So, but but remember, remember, O2, yeah. the Kiambu, Kiambu deviated and they oh, went yeah, with, yeah, uh, because of yeah, yeah because, because, Kerea. because of Uhuru. Yeah. So in so, that aspect, so, yes. so in that aspect, they were not uh, all united. But 2000, 2007, 2013, 2017, those to me are the only three elections where they were united. And remember, even in spaces <clears> like Meru. You would still go to Meru and find uh, an ODM member of Parliament. Yes. Uh, in uh, mm. in Meru. So yes. Yeah, so, so 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 I think there's that narrative of they've always been together. But when when you look at the elections frame by frame, and even the last election, uh, uh, but I think Raila got almost a third of Mount Kenya vote. I think he got like maybe between twenty to thirty percent. Yes, yes. Of Mount did. Kenya vote, I don't have the exact numbers, but 20, he got but he got quite 20, a good chunk of, of the Mount Kenya vote. Sambaza. Yeah. So. There was something that was said. I, I, I like the fact that you talked about that 1992 election. Um, somebody said, I think last week on uh, Spice FM, yeah. that he was privy to some of those meetings where they were asked, what are you bringing to, to the group? Are you bringing money? Are you bringing people? And somebody commented there, one of those guys, and said, this is the f guy who went and made code. I think that was Matiba. He was referencing Matiba at that point. Um, and that that was a, that was a time I think where there was that division, and it explains why there was that division. So okay. they they did not agree to each other, and that so Matiba said, you know what, me, I'm going to go and do my thing. You guys do your thing, and then they realize, hey, apa, it can never happen. So there were two splits that happened in '92. Remember Matiba, Jaramogi, they were mm -hmm. all in the same mm -hmm. outfit called mm -hmm. Ford, mm -hmm. and then at some point, uh. And apparently it was Moy's intelligence working. They made sure that uh, that the Matiba faction split from uh, they, from the they went to London and yeah. They went to London and brought Matiba back and told him, in Kenya, you are the president. They're expecting you to be the president. Yes. So, Matiba so when came, Matiba landed, he wanted the ticket. He wanted he the ticket and formed for Dasili. Uh, and remember, Moy used to win uh, in the 90s by 30-something percent. You know, that's another thing that people forget because mm. the 50% rule had not been implemented. So there was that split between Ford, Ford, uh, Ford Kenya and Ford Asili. Uh, and interestingly enough, there were some Kikuyus who remained with Jaramogi mm -hmm. in, uh, in Ford Kenya. And then now there was, now uh, I'm not going to call this a split, but Kibaki... Uh, he was one of the last Mohicans, you know, like he stayed in Kanu until the very last minute. And then Akajitokeza, and he formed his own party called the Democratic Party. Democratic Party. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, in fact, it was alleged that the Democratic Party is the one that, uh, that uh, was created by Moy's intelligence to make sure. Because even with, even with the split, uh, Matiba still had the numbers. Uh, to beat uh, to beat Moi, mm. so now when you br now bring in Kibaki into the picture, uh, <coughs> then now we don't have no one has enough votes to beat Moi's thirty three or thirty five percent that uh, that he used to win with in those black ballot boxes and of course with stuffed um, ballots in ballots. Sorry, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm.